Hi, in this video I want to show you how to rig and use the dart spin on white gap hooks. Well, the white gap hook, the shape of white gap hook, uh, have been part of the development process of, of, of the dart spin. So as we can see here closely, we have that big cut underneath the belly where it's mostly to direct the, the, the gap of the hook uh, through there. So to make sure the hook on the other side can, can go Wide, far uh, to make a wide opening to hook the fish properly. We can see also there's a hole right here and that hole right here is definitely a hole that we want to use to pass the hook point from the belly all the way to the back. Also the hole that's underneath the, the sheen and the hole in front of the nose are well perfectly located to position that wide gap hook. So first of all when we want to rig a wide gap hook on a dart spin that's very easy because Simply, we put that point, go through the hole that's right here, just turn it 180 degree, hold the bait in one end, hold the hook in the other end, and now we're going to put the eye of the hook inside of this hole. That's it. The bait is ready to use. Now, if you plan to cast into heavy cover, what I recommend is very simple. It's made for, open the back, put the hook down deep inside. So now the point is very much hidden, and of course, as, you, as soon as you have a bite, you see the hook goes out and, and it's pretty good at, at hooking fish. Now, if you fish more open water, well, don't worry. Just leave the hook point outside right away. So this is true when it comes to a uh, weight, weight gap hook, which helps you for a bit longer a cast, fish a bit deeper also if you want and so on. But say you want to fish on the very top, then take your weight gap hook, do the exact same thing. Position it go through the hole right here and here you go choose to keep the hook point outside or inside and for example if you want to fish in heavy cover and just have a super slow roll that's what you want to do you don't need the weight in fact and that goes through very well now you have several options because different hooks and different position of weight will have a, a different benefit for example when you take the dart spin pro like this that have a wide gap hook that I designed that have an open um, bend, so that means the hook point is going naturally outside. It's perfect if you need to have instant hook setting, and there's a number of fish out there that uh, for which it's better. But if you fish in some kind of heavy cover, you may want to choose a hook point that's more down, th that aligns pretty much with the eye. You can also choose different type of weight. The position of the weight also matters. For example, if I take this hook with the, the weight pretty much in front, I will have a much better darting action. But if I want to have a purely a steady retrieve, I may prefer to have the weight more underneath. Last thing to show right here is, well, sometimes you have predators that are targeting kind of small prey. Well, you can have a much larger um, hook than usually planned that will still fit the dart spin. So now you have that small profile, but you have a pretty big hook. So you, you have the hook that will fit bigger, stronger, minor fish. For example, if you go in the Amazon for peacock bass, that's surely what I will use uh, because you know they are powerful, there are dead trees all around. You need to, to fight them very hard to not break. So you have some uh, wide gap hook that are weighted in the front. That's especially good I, I love to use that uh, if you have branches you know you can let it dive it's kind of the same use as a texas rig with the difference that the weight is part of the hook so it works pretty well we have this option where we have a white gap hook that's basically um, together with uh, the football head that's one of our hooks and thanks to that now you can fish very well on the bottom say for example if you have smallmouth bass if you have walleye or zander perch, stuff like that, rocky bottoms in particular, really love this hook for that. So, and so what else, number of views as well. So you pass your hook point for it, and again, just come, position the nose, and now put in the hole in the back, and here you go. You can keep the hook outside if needed. You can also put the hook inside for um, you know, less risk of snagging, and, and you have that kind of, of um, wide gap hook that comes together with a, a jointed weight of different shape that also works great. So the dart spin is definitely a bait that can be used and you see that again here with many different type of rig to fit in fact the situation you're facing. Size of fish, the distance, the swimming depth. Well, 
because these bait have a blade with a lot of freedom behind, you can use as well a weightless weight gap hook or a very heavy jointed weight and you will always have that great action from the blade when using that. This bait is going to catch you a ton of fish, I promise.